Eskom says close to 400,000 customers will be affected by a program of load reduction. The power generator says this will affect areas where transformers are at risk of overloading. When the network, isolated networks, are overloading, uh, we then switch off customers uh, or switch off that network for a particular period when it's overloading to protect the infrastructure. Load reductions will occur during peak times between 5 and 7 in the mornings and 5 and 7 in the evenings. Eskom says illegal connections, vandalism and the misuse of electricity accounts for up to 94% of all overloaded transformers. The power utility spends approximately $185 million annually on replacing these transformers. I think in the previous year we lost about 5.5 billion and we're coming from the years around 7 billion. So it's, a, it's, it's decreasing a bit, but obviously it's still too high. So that's 7 billion per annum. Last year we, we recorded about 5.5 billion that we lost from what we call non-technical losses. But paying customers say it's unfair that they are being punished. Even with load shedding, the price of electricity has risen over 300% in the last decade. Consumers have been especially hard hit after ESCOM's latest tariff increases kicked in, pushing up the cost even higher. The one problem with load reduction is it's, it's impossible for ESCOM to basically say, you know, which person is paying, which person is not paying, and you know, only if, uh, take away power from them by doing things like load reduction. And so you do find communities where there is higher levels of, uh, you know, infrastructure destruction and electricity theft are going to be the more impoverished communities. So let's just say you're one of the unfortunate people in the community they, that's paying, and like a large number. Of when the community are not paying, you're more likely to be affected by load reduction than in a community where everybody is paying. While the cost of electricity remains a threat to inflation, ESCOM's improved power generation will be positive for the economy. Experts believe that if the country continues on this path, GDP growth could lift by more than half a percent, providing a boost to the struggling economy. Sumit Renadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.